Oh, aggressive. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's becoming clear that Eva is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Why are you so angry, Eva? Why are you so angry? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Growing Together. We've got ourselves a pretty big family here, and it's only gonna get bigger. As you can see here, our mom, Lola, is pregnant. She is eating for two, and she's gonna be in her second trimester in 21 hours. And then we have our dad, Oliver, here, and we do have three kiddos, Isabel, who is at school, Zena, who just aged up into a child, so that is why she is not at school today, and we have Eva, who just aged up into a toddler. And I kind of want to go ahead and start off this episode with a little bit of a bang. I might have to sell some stuff to do it, but when Zena aged up, she aged up as a cat lover. So I was thinking that maybe we can adopt a cat. Isabel is home from school. So before I do the cat thing, I'm going to have Isabel do homework and then she's going to try to practice riding her bike because if you look on the milestones, learn how to ride a bike is on, on the milestones listing and so I want to do that because that's new. And last time I tried to ask for help with bike riding and it didn't work, but let's just go ahead and see if it's got fixed since then. Oh good, Oliver is painting, which is great because we're going to need some money if we want to adopt a cat and buy all the things to go with it. <laughs> Zena, you can go ahead and get a jump start on your homework, please. Oh, aggressive. Oh gosh. Okay, it's becoming clear that Eva is a little more aggressive than other toddlers. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> aggressive toddlers like to rough house and are quick to hit, bite, or kick sims. Why are you so angry, Eva? Why are you so angry? <laughs> And everybody's going to continue to stink today because water shutoff day is now in effect. So we won't get our water back until like 9 p.m. I think is when it'll come back on. So we're all just going to have to deal with being a little stinky today. I guess the bike thing did not work again. So I'm just going to have Isabel come out here and practice riding her bike by herself, which is fine. And our fridge is broken. Cool. I'll have Lola repair that after she finishes dinner. Okay, look, she's trying to ride her bike. She's not getting very far, <laughs> but that's okay. You can do it. Yeah, she's getting real far, isn't she? <laughs> she goes about two feet and she's like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Turn back around. <laughs> that's okay. We all got to start somewhere, right? Okay, I'm going to quickly sell these two paintings in Oliver's inventory, and then I'm going to go ahead and have him call up the adoption service, and we're going to adopt a cat. Who do we like? Piccolo is very cute. Shaky's got some big ears. <laughs> Yogi is cute. I mean, they're all cute, really. I don't know. Piccolo keeps keeps calling to me. I think let's let's go for Piccolo. Oh, the adoption agency's here. Uh, she's doing our trash for us, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a new family dynamic. Permissive. I have not seen this one yet. Some authority figures let youngsters get away with too much. Seeing how things have been going between Lola and Eva, that definitely looks to be the case. Because house rules are more like guidelines, right? When family members have the permissive family dynamic, the older sim will often shower the younger sim in affection and compliments and will generally be lenient when the younger sim misbehaves. Interesting! I'm wondering if it's because Eva is aggressive and Lola doesn't want to get bit. <laughs> yeah, let's let's say that it is their relationship is permissive. Yes. She's already angry. If she's so angry. Okay, Lola, can you please potty train Eva and then we're going to read her to sleep. Uh let's go meet our cat. Hi. Let's go friendly introduce ourselves to Piccolo. Oh, they gelda. Okay, we became acquaintances. Let's pet Piccolo and get to know Piccolo. What are your traits, Piccolo? Are you a nice kitty? I'm going to offer our friendship. We are getting along with Piccolo very well. Piccolo is spoiled. And I think Piccolo is affectionate. Yeah. Affectionate and spoiled. I can deal with those traits. Let's adopt Piccolo. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility. Yes, let's do it. So Piccolo, um, 
what should we name him? Okay, so I just shuffled through a couple of random names and this is the one I have decided on. May we introduce Waffle the Cat. Yay! Welcome to the family, Waffle. We've got to buy a couple of cat things now. Okay, so I bought like a couple of toys, a food bowl that needs to be filled. Xena, since technically you're the one that wanted a cat, I'm going to come have you fill it. Um, and then we also got a little cat tower as well. And Isabel is getting better on her bike. Look at her go now. Way to go, Isabel. Definitely making progress. It is 9 o'clock though, so I'm going to ask you to stop. Go ahead and go use the bathroom, and then take a bath, and then eat. And then Isabel needs to head to bed. Xena, you really need to shower. I'm going to have you grab some food first, and then go take a shower. Oh yeah, I also added a litter box in the upstairs bath. Oh, and Christy is here. For those of you who don't know, Christy is actually Oliver's mom. And Christy and her husband, Bruce, both were taken by the Grim Reaper right here in the nursery room at the exact same time. It was very unexpected. <laughs> All right, I'm just having Oliver clean up a little bit and then he's going to head to bed and everybody will be asleep. So I will catch you in the morning. What? It's almost Oliver's birthday. Oh my gosh, he has two days until he ages up. Wow, I can't believe Oliver's aging up soon. Oh gosh. Christy is possessing our stuff. <laughs> Xena has a loose tooth? What? She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Xena can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Okay, Xena, let's wiggle your loose tooth. Oh gosh, what is that? Is that slobber? What was that? Oh, she's... She's uncomfortable from wiggling her tooth now. Okay, let's brush your teeth. See if that might help. Come on, little loose tooth. She's still uncomfortable. She'll be uncomfortable for nine hours. So I wonder if that's when it's gonna fall out by itself. Waffles playing with his little toy. Xena, can you come and come and pet your kitty and maybe request a song? You know, just hang out with your cat. Isabel has a loose tooth as well. Wow, and Eva is very hungry. I'm not surprised. Um, let's grab some food out for Eva so she doesn't throw a fit. The girls are off to school and Eva is just mad. <laughs> oh my goodness, power conservation's now in effect. Oh my goodness. We just aren't allowed to have utilities in this house. <laughs> They're always turning it off. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Waffle? We're gonna lecture you about playing in the trash. We don't play in the trash, okay? Oh, should Isabel invite over classmate D'Angelo? Yeah, she loves D'Angelo. That's her good friend. But first, she does need to finish her homework. And same goes for Xena. Xena, please do your homework as well. Wait, Xena lost her tooth? What? Wait, can I tell that she has a missing tooth? Oh my gosh, she does. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Bernice, what are you doing here? Go away, Bernice. We cannot talk to you. <laughs> Bernice, please quit following us. Quit stalking us, showing up. We don't need to talk to you right now. When Xena goes to bed tonight, she can place her tooth under the pillow and sleep. Cool. We'll have to do that then. Let's view Isabel's scout badge progress because we have not taken a look at it in a little while. Oh, okay. She's not doing too bad. She's got three that are complete. She's, she's not doing too bad. Can she paint, I wonder? She just became good friends with D'Angelo. How sweet. And Xena's eating spoiled food. <laughs> Look at the cat walking. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oliver, I want you to come here and continue building the treehouse. I would really like to get this done. So Xena, once Oliver gets out here and starts building, I'm also going to have you join him. Isabel's still over here trying to learn to ride her bike. But she's getting a lot better. Her leg looks very strange. Look at this. Why is it all the way back like that? <laughs> she looks like she's mid-runner's stride. <laughs> oh boy, and Eva is very angry. Please go to sleep, girl. <laughs> and Xena's just changing out little Waffle's food. And then she's going to go to bed. And everybody is going to bed, so... I will catch you back when they all wake up.
Oliver is awake. Oh, and his dad is outside. And he's very angry. And he's about to go talk to him. Sure, you can go talk to your dad. That's that's fine. Oh, and his dad just left. Okay, fine. Didn't want to talk to you anyways. Oh, no, I forgot to put Xena's tooth under her, under her pillow. I wonder if we can do it now. <laughs> that was my bad. Sorry, Xena. It's time to head to bed. <laughs> if you're lucky. When you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you in your inventory. So, yeah, she's going to sleep <laughs> right now at 6.19 in the morning. And she's probably only going to sleep for literally two seconds and then wake up. So, let's see if the Tooth Fairy stops by in that short amount of time. <laughs> and Isabel is still very uncomfortable from her loose tooth. I don't think she has much time to mess with it this morning, though, because she needs to take care of her needs before she goes to school. Your tooth is gone, but this gift is no con. What'd she get? Tooth fairy poster and a tooth fairy certificate. Hold on. Hold on before you leave. Oh, that's cute. Cute. Well, that's fun. I wonder if each kid is going to get the same gift or if each of the gifts are going to be different. Like, she's very confident. Tooth fairy time from losing a tooth. A gift from the Tooth Fairy can take the sting out of a lost tooth. Well, good for her! Congratulations on your tooth, Xena. <laughs> Have a good day at school. You as well, Isabel. <laughs> I know you really need to use the restroom. Uh, I hope you can hold it until you get there. <laughs> and Lola is going to be in her third trimester in three hours. And I'm just going to have her feed Eva, because Eva is hungry, hungry. Look at Waffles playing with his little toy. I love when he plays with the toy. It's so cute. Look. <laughs> That's adorable. When Oliver's done eating, I want him to come finish the tree house. So that when the girls get home from school today, they come home to a finished tree house. Because how exciting would that be for them? He is almost done. He's pretty close. I think he should be able to finish it before the girls get home. Come on, Oliver. Is it done? It's done! Oh my gosh, it's done! We can watch nature, upgrade the treehouse. Oh, we could add a slide. Who is calling? What? <laughs> Some other kid threatened Isabel and took her lunch money. She's been crying in the office. Aw. We're going to say find the kid or I will. What else can we do here? Treehouse entry and exit. Climb up or climb down. We can sit. We can nap, we can sleep, we can relax, we can, you know, woohoo. <laughs> How cool! Let's upgrade and add a bell because that's fun, right? And then I'm gonna have him do a couple more paintings so that we can uh, afford to add a slide. Hi, Janae, How are you? Let's invite her in. So nice of you to come over. How are you doing? Stellar, Isabel can surely enjoy the weekend knowing she's one of the top students. Way to go, Isabel. Oh gosh, Bernice, go home. <laughs> go home. Stop showing up. Isabel, how about we invite a couple of your friends over? Let's invite D'Angelo and Orion. Let's, oh, oh wow. Okay, so she has a lot of things that she can do. Set admission rules. Kids only, teens only, no adults allowed. Play pretend. Oh my gosh. Lots of options for that. Ring tree house bell, play on tree house, set decorations? Let's do island castaway decorations. Oh, that's fun. Okay, and let's play pretend island castaway with, oh, I can only select one, one kid to play with. That's okay. You can go play pretend together. That's fun. So I wonder if she can also, if Xena can also play pretend with somebody else. Maybe they want to play house. Oh, well, she just ha she needs to go meet the other kids here. Here, Zena, come and friendly introduce yourself to Clarence. Aw. Look, that's so much fun. Okay, can you come play pretend with Clarence now? Oh, Oliver's coming up here. Maybe I'm gonna have him ring the treehouse bell. Oh, I can't. Is that only for kids? <laughs> Oliver, what are you doing? Oliver, they are fine. They're just playing in the treehouse. <laughs> you don't have to... You don't have to keep an eye on her. It's all good. Go eat or something. And go paint. Oh, Isabel lost her loose tooth. Oh, good. A 
Okay, here, you can put it put it under your pillow and go to sleep. And then everybody, I'm going to put Xena to bed as well. And Lola should be g giving birth any moment now. But I'll pick up in the morning. Lola's awake because she needs to use the bathroom. She's going to have to go all the way upstairs. I hope she can make it in time. <laughs> Celebrate Oliver's birthday. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, his birthday's today. His birthday is today. Lola, I'm gonna need you to cook a cake real quick. Oliver, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot. Look at all of this stinking food. Xena, will you please pick all of it up for me? You lost a practice tooth. Remember to take care of your real ones? Oh, okay. Saying that the baby teeth are the practice teeth. What did she get? So she also got a little certificate. And then she got the Tooth Fairy Hero sticker. Fun! Should we go somewhere for Oliver's birthday? I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the fridge for now. We technically have all day for him to celebrate his birthday. So we can figure out something a little later. In the meantime, I want Isabel to practice riding her bike some more. And Xena's looking for some fun, so she's gonna play with her cat, request a song, play with the laser pointer, tell a story. Let lick face. Eva's still sleeping for a little while longer. Now I really want Isabel to learn how to ride a bike. Because she hasn't yet. She's been doing a lot of practicing. Oh, someone knocked over our trash. Xena, don't play in it, please. Oliver, can you come pick up the trash and then throw away the little pieces around it? Xena, go ahead and go to the bathroom, I guess. Oh, Lola's gone into labor. Lola has gone into labor. Get up. Lola, wake up. Lola, wake up. Oliver, come wake Lola up. I don't know why she's not waking up on her own. There she goes. Okay, okay. Let's go have the baby at the hospital. Let's go. Yes, we're going to join her and Oliver is going to come. Go, go, go. It's baby time. Here we are again at the hospital giving birth to our fourth baby. Where are you going? You didn't even check in. Are you going directly to the room? No. You, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Okay. I guess this time they're like, you know what? We know her. She doesn't even need to check in. She's ready. <laughs> and we've got the same doctor again. So that's pretty cool. Glad to see you're still around. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a boy. So I actually have two people who suggested the same name for a boy. So thank you to Angela and Nicholas for suggesting the name Logan for a boy. We finally have a boy. Welcome to the world, little Logan. Yay. Congratulations to Lola and Oliver. And here we are back home and Logan is in his crib. Gonna have Lola come over here and change his outfit because... Ever since I learned that we can do that, I'm not going to stop doing it. Let's have him wear the pandemonium onesie. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave this part here. I really hope that you enjoyed. We will celebrate Oliver's birthday in the next part. I think we'll go take him out to dinner or something. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later. Bye!